Welcome back and in today's video I'll be guiding you through the process on how you can change the keyboard theme on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. So start by opening the settings app and in settings you want to scroll and select general management. From here tap on Samsung keyboard settings and then you want to scroll down until you get to theme. Tap on it. The Samsung keyboard only comes with four themes for you to use. So you have light, you have solid light, you have dark and solid dark. So it's up to you to decide which option you prefer. And then once you've selected your preferred option, you can now exit the settings app. And when you go to type something out, you should see you'll be using your brand new keyboard color. Even if you change the keyboard style, so for example, if you decide to use the handwriting keyboard, then you'll also notice that the theme has also been applied. However, if you want to get more customization for your keyboard, then you can easily use the Google keyboard. So start by setting the Gboard as your default keyboard. Then from here, you want to tap on Gboard settings. Then you want to select the option theme. Under theme, you have different styles for you to choose from. You have landscapes, you have gradients, light and dark. You also have the option of using solid colors as well as a default options that are already pre-created for you. Or you can choose to create your own theme. So say for example, you choose a solid color, you would just tap on it. Then you get a small preview that allows you to decide if you want to have keyboard borders or not, and whether if you prefer that theme. If you don't, you can tap on cancel, but if you want to use it, just tap on apply. And this also is the same for any other option you choose. So if you choose to use a landscape or a gradient, light or dark, it's the same process. Just tap on the gradient to download it. Then you can get your preview, keyboard borders yes or no, and tap on apply. Now, when you go to open your keyboard, you should notice your new uh, keyboard theme. If you want to create your own custom keyboard, it's slightly different. So tap on the plus icon under my themes. And then from here, you want to choose photos or a photo that you want to use as a background for your uh, keyboard theme. Then once you've selected your image, then you want to start scaling the image to the perfect place where you want your keyboard theme to be like. So adjust the image to your liking. Once it's been adjusted, tap on next. And then from here, you can now adjust the brightness of the image. So you can have it super bright or dim, it's up to you. Or you can find a way to middle it so that it's, while it's standing out, it's not overcrowding the keyboard. Then once you've finished with your adjustments, tap on done, and then select apply. Once you've chosen whether you want keyboard borders or not. So once you've applied it, now, when you go to type something out, you should see your brand new keyboard theme that you've just created. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.